Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about next week's episode of Supergirl, titled Hope for Tomorrow. We're going to be breaking down the trailer, we got some photos, we have the synopsis, lots of big stuff is going down in this episode, and episode 15, Hope for Tomorrow. So they've released a promo. From what we can see in the promo, basically they're going to just go after the next totem and it seems like this is pretty much going to be the normal format for the next couple of episodes. But there is one difference, Nixley actually ends up going to Catco and Kara is finally back at Catco. It's been quite a few episodes since she's been there, it's been mainly William and Andrea with the storylines at Catco. Obviously Andrea has been pushing William very hard but William backed off and sort of stood his own ground in the last episode. And so here you have Nixley standing in the middle of Catco and Kara realizes and it cuts to a shot of Kara in her reporter getup and it seems like she's actually going after Supergirl in this instance, not like Catco as a whole, but she knows that Supergirl will probably turn up wherever she goes so for some reason she ends up in Catco and later in the trailer she talks about how she wants Supergirl to get the totems and to stop playing with her so is it possible that she is forcing Supergirl to do her evil bids for her by somehow controlling her obviously she uses her powers to freeze Kara in this instant looks like this could be pretty deadly but I think it's more of a temporary kind of freezing situation that you're seeing on the screen right here with Nixley using her powers against Kara and so it does seem like she does get her hand on the totem in Holland that was teased she's going to the Hague and it's in the form of this kind of flower statue I don't know what specifically it is I can't really recognize it however it seems she gets her hands on it but somehow Supergirl is able to intercept her now let's get some more context on this by going over the synopsis for the episode. So Nixley kidnaps William. Supergirl continues to fight Nixley for the remaining totems but after Nixley kidnaps William, Supergirl realizes she needs to take a more proactive stance to keep National City safe. Meanwhile Alex faces the biggest challenge of her life. Okay so this is episode 15, this is airing next Tuesday. So it teases that probably when Nixley goes to Catco, she is going to be at this point kidnapping William. Is it because of William's article and what she's been reporting revealing that Nixley is the one behind everything and now basically everyone has got their eyes out for someone who looks like Nixley? It possibly could be to do with that because she doesn't have any links to William apart from that and considering that William is close to Team Supergirl as of right now, it could be her leverage. Maybe she kidnaps him and basically holds him as ransom and is like, Supergirl, you have to do this. You have to get all the totems, otherwise I'm going to kill William. So it seems like it's going to be a tricky situation, but they're going to have to somehow save William. And there is a high possibility that Nixley may end up killing William if Supergirl refuses to do Nixley's bidding and get the rest of the totems and, you know, give her back the humanity totem, and if Supergirl is able to intercept her new totem that she gets from the Hague, she will have to give them all back. And so Supergirl realizes she needs to take a more proactive step to protect the city, and I don't know what that is going to constitute. And meanwhile, Alex's big challenge is probably something to do with what happened last episode, where you had Kelly and Alex supposedly adopting Esme. Now, since we're approaching the end of the series and the season as a whole, they are definitely building up to how they want the show to end. And it definitely seems like Alex and Kelly having a child seems like the natural next step in their relationship and the way that they want to continue their life. Obviously they're going to continue to be superheroes and I mentioned this many times before, I don't think they're going to stop, but they are going to be facing big challenges and making new life choices which are going to be very impactful for the rest of their lives and I think adopting Esme is one of those big things. Okay so let's move on to the next thing, we've got some photos for this episode which we're going to go through. So the first photo we have is of Supergirl and Lena in the tower and it seems like they are looking at the screen and it's definitely something to do with what Nixley has done and maybe they get some sort of update. Supergirl in this photo, just like in the trailer, is stuck. Obviously this is without CGI, but she's pretty much in the exact same position as she is in the trailer when Nixley uses her magic on her. 
we have this photo of Brainy and Lena, and in the background we have some sort of news report. There is a helicopter. Seems like there is chaos in National City once again, thanks to Nixley. Kara and Kelly go to what looks like maybe Esme's home and where she's staying because it doesn't look like anywhere we've seen and they are incredibly happy. You can see it on their faces and I would presume this is something to do with Esme and you know their potential adoption of Esme in this episode. Okay so Nixley again exactly the same shot from the trailer. This is her using her powers to control a minute play Supergirl and we have back at the tower Kelly and Alex talking and it seems to be quite intense. Could this be to do with what they are planning to do in this episode? I don't know. Alright, William. Wow, what is going on here? Well, we know that William is being kidnapped in this episode and this is definitely after he's been kidnapped. It seems that he's been locked in one of the cages on Naxxam's ship and that is where he's going to be remaining at least for this episode or until anyone can save him. And back in the tower we have Supergirl and Alex and they are responding to something that they are seeing. Again, I have no idea what's going on, but I presume it's something in front of them. It seems like Nixie is going to be shepherding William around with her as her hostage in order for Supergirl to do her bidding as I mentioned earlier. And this photo pretty much confirms it. Nixley is here, I don't know where he specifically is, but Supergirl is standing in the foreground, she is blurred out, she's got something in her hands, Nixley is like, give it to me, and so it seems Supergirl has one of the totems and she's going to do a trade-off for William, but we don't know if Nixley is going to properly give back William because Nixley is very devious and very cunning, maybe she has some sort of backup plan in mind in order to not lose everything. Okay, so we have this photo of the team, it's very bright, very sunny on the outside of the set, and this is sort of illuminating the room, and they are all listening to Supergirl as she kind of explains the situation it seems. Okay, so back to Supergirl and Nixley and William. In Kara's hand you can see one of the totems, I don't know what specific totem this is. Is this the new totem? Most likely, because this doesn't look like the humanity totem which was glowing red. Again, that could be a post-production thing, meaning that the red glow is added in afterwards, so this is just like a normal set photo. But it's a cool photo, you see the back of National City with Supergirl in the foreground holding the totem as she tries to, I presume, save William. So, yeah, that about does it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really liked the last episode of Supergirl, I'm liking where this is going. I can't wait to see Lex Luthor properly involved in all of this. One last final thing before we end this video, I wanted to talk about Melissa's interview that she did last night on Jimmy Kimmel and she briefly talked about Supergirl, she was promoting her new book which is coming out very soon and I'm excited to read it when it comes out. However, she talked about the end of Supergirl and how like maybe she stole a costume or two, also she stole some stuff from the set and they talked about how she's been done for a couple months and it seemed to be inferred that she's pretty much done on Supergirl and although she may feel nostalgic in like a couple of months or so, she's not kind of looking to go back into the flying kind of rig that she was on every day and so it seems like pretty much for now we can assume Melissa is done as Supergirl and maybe like she said Maybe the nostalgia kicks in at some point and she wants to return in one of the Arrowverse crossovers. But for now, I would assume no more Melissa for quite a good time as Supergirl. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that because I feel like it's an important thing that she actually acknowledged this on live TV. Also, it was just a great interview, so I highly recommend you go check it out on Jimmy Kimmel's YouTube channel because Melissa was awesome and it was great to see her live back on TV in person. Obviously, this hasn't been done in quite a long time due to the pandemic and everything. Also, don't forget, as we head into these last couple of episodes, we're going to be seeing the return of major returning faces like Monel, Wynn, and James. So it's not going to be just contemporary Team Supergirl who is taking on Lex and Nixley, but it's going to be even bigger than that as all these familiar returning faces come back to end off the series as a whole, and I can't wait for that. And stay tuned for all my Supergirl coverage. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the video. 
Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.